everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about the acceptance of mud. I was thinking back over the last 10 years and looking at some notes that I had taken. And I've probably been in 100 studios all over the United States, a couple in Europe, but mostly in the United States, North America, in the last 10 years. And I always listen to the low end. You know, that's what I want to hear because, like, you ever go to a sushi bar? If you want to find out if it's a good sushi bar, order the octopus. That's a hard fish to keep fresh. If it's a fish, I don't think it's a fish. But anyway, you get the idea. I always think it sounds like mud. You know, there's no separation. There's no definition. The attack and decay is nasty. I, I think it's horrible. And I've been in some really nice studios. Okay. Names that you would recognize. So I always say, you know, you can get good sound. A good engineer can get good sound in any room. And I think there's a lot of engineering going on because you're not putting that quality into the mix based on what I'm hearing in the room. You're not. So you're doing something else. So that's how that works. But no definition separation, no proper attack of decay. And this occurs at all pressure levels, low, medium, rocking high, so to speak. So I always ask him, what do you think of the low end? And it's like, well, it's as good as I can get it. Ah, that's low end for you. That's what low end sounds like. It's just that there's a reference for years and years and years that uh, people have gotten used to. And it's sad because, you know, we have technology that can make it way, way, way better, more enjoyable. You can watch the videos on our project pages, listen to the clients that build their own rooms or use a lot of our product in their room. First thing they talk about is the low end. They can't believe how much they've missed over the years. Well, that's, you know, how it goes there. So, so they don't, they don't, they don't have to uh, lower end resolution as the mids and highs. We can make all the resolutions of all three groups, th mids, uh, highs and lows, we can make the resolution compatible with each other. Can be done. We have the technology. Now, speaking of technology, <coughs> excuse me, diaphragmatic is the most powerful. So that's the one we use because it's the most powerful. It has low end torque and it's got horsepower. Yes, it's heavy. Their units are 230 pounds. I get it. But you can't get this kind of horsepower and torque, if you will, to use a automobile analogy. The the thing is, <coughs> excuse me, that you've got to have density. And you got inside diaphragmatic absorbers, we have our carbon, and that filter alone weighs 65 pounds. I think the cabinet's like 130. So, you know, it's it's a lot of weight, it's a lot of mass, but that's what you need to stop. 20, 30, 40 foot long pressure waves and half as high. So you have to have that kind of horsepower. We do have it in our 10s and 12s, our ACDA 10 and ACDA 12, 30 to 50 on the 12, 30 to 300 strong on the 10. And then for those that don't need to go into the 30s, the carbon panel. So there's a big gain there, you know, with, with performance. Because when we did our testing, we found two frequency ranges that were always problematic in small rooms, and those are those. That's why our products exhibit that performance. Look at the performance of our carbon here in the graphic. Look at, look at the 12. Look at it 30, 40, and 50%. Look how much it grabs. It's huge. And look how steep and rapid the rate is. Foam, the same thing, smooth, linear rates. You can see they both work together. That was by design also. So we don't have to accept poor low end, mud, we call it. You don't have to accept that. There's, we can fix it for you. So go to our website. There's a room form, top left corner, says room analysis. Fill it out, send it in, schedule a time to talk. Acceptance of mud. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum.
We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.